EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From beautiful Pebble Beach, California, it's live second-round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Well, let's face it, Mother Nature's just showing off this week. Pebble Beach, one of the crown jewels of American sport in all its glory as we look at the Friday leaderboard. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. And that will come to rest just off the fairway, but not too much trouble from there, I wouldn't think. Rough's really not that deep, Rich, so you're, you're exactly right. Sitting up well enough, no problem whatsoever. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And she'll move to 15 under for the tournament. Frank, interestingly, this hole number two plays as a par four for the U.S. Open. It is a par five. It's absolutely gettable, and players must take advantage. Certainly, Rich, off that back tee, uh, really, you've got to grab a driver. I know there's bunkers left and right, but the decision is whether that tee shot finishes in the fairway, because if it does, you're going to have a crack at this par five and two. If it doesn't, then you play the layup. That one going to be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. This is looking really good. But that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, yeah. It is a dream beginning to the round. A birdie at one. Now an eagle here at the second. How about three under through two holes? Just getting started. Onto the 397 yard par four third, where some players drive it over the trees on the left to cut the dog leg, while others play it more conventionally. We'll remind you that coming up next week, we move from the serenity of the Pacific Ocean here at Pebble Beach to a scene that will be anything but calm. That is the Waste Management Phoenix Open down at TPC Scottsdale. Frank, I always think different venues sort of different soundtracks pebble is crashing waves with our vile sweaters uh, the race from phoenix open it's like a nightclub in prague at about two in the morning <laughs> and i've been to prague too yeah <laughs> except prague doesn't have the seven hundred thousand people it's the greatest gate some say the greatest show on grass it really is that 16th hole I'll tell you just one quick little story. Tom Watson, in his heyday with the late Bruce Edwards on the bag, it was the one hole he did, he changed his routine. He'd get Bruce to go ahead to the tee, all those people around, and he'd just say, give me the club and hit it. That was the one time he broke tradition. Hey, it's absolute frenzy at Scott's stuff. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Birdie here at three. And that will move her score to 18 under par. Well, this is where Pebble Beach starts to look like Pebble Beach in all its glory and magnificent beauty. It's only 333 yards. Off the tee, you can hit driver. Maybe make an eagle, knock it up on the green. We have seen guys do that. Or you can play it safe, long iron off the tee. Either way, you're thinking three at four. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for Birdie.
Yeah, that's a well-played hold. It's a birdie here at four. And she'll move now to 19 under. First par three of the round, and Frank, I'm reminded of the great history that Jack Nicklaus has here at Pebble Beach, and that goes well beyond what he did as a player. Well, that's for sure. I and mean, we know his flying credentials, but he won the second of his two U.S. amateurs here in 1961. I actually said that was the best he ever hit the golf ball, but um, his uh, legacy really as a designer you see right here in front of you. I never got to play the old fifth hole, which is further left, but this is an absolute beast that plays around 190 yards, very narrow green, and that is a cliff on the right, believe me. You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. Chance now for another birdie. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. Okay, she'll finish that one off for her part. And she'll remain at minus 19. Well, now Pebble Beach begins to really open up with some of the most famous holes in the world. We'll begin with a 498-yard par 5 sixth. Pacific Ocean on the right and a row of bunkers on the left. Treacherous is a word that comes to mind. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Wonderful tee shot here. Biggest challenge is you cannot see the pin sitting on the green. Going to have to pick out a point along the edge of the cliff to get the ball online. Got every bit of that through all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for Eagle three. Superb. Moving on to the 106-yard par 37. One of the most beautiful holes in the world. Craggy rocks, blue skies, and the beckoning Pacific beyond. Absolutely breathtaking. That one, safely on the putting surface. 14 feet to the hole. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And she'll hold tight at 21 under par. Frank, as you know, of all the sports played on land, golf's the one with the best views. This is as good as it gets, but you, you need to focus now on what's ahead of you. This eighth hole is a real challenge, isn't it? It certainly is. Uh, the temptation is to pull the camera out, but really it's about what club you're going to pull off this tee. There's two runouts on the right side, about 250 yards, left side about 270, and really that white rock is a great indicator of the line. Tough to do a whole lot better than that. That ball right down the middle. Frank, just the visuals on this second shot to number eight, mind-boggling. Yeah, this is really where Pebble Beach attracts the best players in the world. Sitting on top of that hill, and you look at this green that angles away from the player on the player's right, Plus, you actually have to look at the putting surface. There's only a small area of flat surface. If you come up, you know, anything sort of five or six yards short on that putting surface, it will come off. But also, too, you can, if you look at a local knowledge, 
don't, don't tell too many people, but you can use the back edge of the green too to roll the ball back. Now this for another birdie. Tough to see any break in this, maybe slightly to the right, putting back up the hill, so got to keep up the speed. This was spot on. That ball somehow just decided not to go down. Okay, that in four par here at the eight. And her score's gonna stay right where it is. The thing about Pebble Beach is it's easy to lose focus, stare off at the horizon, the Pacific Ocean, and all that beauty that surrounds you. But then you remember, and I'm playing the ninth hole here. This is one of the hardest par fours in the world. Pay attention. And this has started a little to her left. It might be in the rock, but that was absolutely crushed. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. This one, not for the faint of heart. Down a big slope, though it is for birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. That was a slippery one, but that's well done. Just to tap in there for par at the ninth. And that is going to mean this was a 28 on the front side. Seven under par. Now beginning the inward half here at Pebble Beach, and it is some start to this backside, Frank. A big, bold par four. Once again, running the entire length of the Pacific Ocean along the right. Yeah, visually it's stunning, no doubt about that, with the world's largest uh, hazard there on the right. Um, so your mind does go to the left side of this fairway, but you don't want it to go too far left. Those three bunkers, they're very much in play. But really aim in the left side of this fairway because the fairway does kick to the right. Smoke that tee shot. Can't believe it finished in the first cut. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Chance now for another birdie. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed, and it just skips a foot or so by. That one finished off. It's in for par. And her score is going to stay right where it is. We head now to the 370-yard par 4 11th, where ideally you'd like to favor the left side of the fairway to open up the approach into one of the smallest greens at Pebble Beach. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend. And that, another good drive here. Another example of her, her excellent balance and timing, and that's a good shot. This one going to require some pace back up the hill for birdie. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And she'll get it to 22 under par. 
And now we arrive at the 202 yard par 3 12th. Best to work the ball right to left, landing as softly as possible on one of the firmest greens at Pebble Beach. Quality shot right there, just left of the hole, and a birdie opportunity coming up. Uh, nicely done. Two straight birdies here early on this backside. And she'll move to 23 under par. Well, this par 4 13th hole doesn't show up on a lot of postcards the way, say, the 8th hole would. But, Frank, uh, this is a legitimate and challenging par four, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is, Rich. Uh, 400 yards, but it plays longer than that by virtue of it being uphill. But the addition of those three bunkers in on the right side has certainly shrunk the width of this fairway. Plus, it still tips from the right side to the left side. And you've got an uphill second shot. So, you know, I've seen everything here. Twos, threes, fours, fives, you name it. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. We've got one, three, two left to the flag today. The pin up front in the right hand corner of the green. Nice approach shot and another good thing about that, lift it below the hole. 11 feet away. Gonna scoot a foot or two by. Okay, that one in for par. And she's gonna stay at 23 under par. We arrive now at the 582 yard par 514. It is one of the hardest holes on the PGA Tour, year in, year out. This is a bear. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. That's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three-wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Side of the hill now, this for her birdie. Just didn't have the right line. Well, she's there. It is a par here at 14. And her score is going to stay right where it is. You may have heard of the 17-mile drive near Pebble Beach. It's scenic. It is one you absolutely want to put on your bucket list. But you don't want to get there by chasing a tee shot onto the road. That's what can happen if you blow it way right here at 15, if you do keep it in play. At 393 yards, this 15th hole is absolutely one on which you can make a birdie. There's no way that ball could have gone through the tree, but somehow it did. It's finished up actually all right. So after the big drive, this, a short approach to the par four.
How about the level of shot making going on right now? That is very tidy right there. Now this for another birdie. And that one finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. And her score will move to 24 under par. Part four, 16th hole. Frank, what's the right play off the tee? You don't need driver here for a start, Rich. It's a long iron or even, uh, you know, a fairway wood. Now, do you see that big gaping bunker in the middle of the fairway? That's not really in play. 205 yards gets, uh, gets over that. But that's the line. If you look closely up the right there, those two bunkers, you just see a little, little sliver of the bunker, the left of the two on the right. Um, that's sort of a no-no. So anything slightly left of that that runs out about sort of 280 yards, that is prime. Second shot, good look at the green. She's got a great swing. I, mean, I really like that golf swing. I love that shot, too. Inside 10 feet. Uh, this round finishing score. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And she'll move to 25 under now. If you stop for just a moment, it can really hit you where you are and what's happened here. This 17th hole at Pebble Beach, the par three. Jack with a one iron that hit the flagstick in 1972 on his way to winning the US Open Championship. And then a decade later, Tom Watson from just long of the green, chipping in for a birdie two to beat Jack Nicklaus. Yeah, history made here at the 17th hole. Just hit the shot sometimes. You maneuver it, and that's a really good example right there. Beautifully executed. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And that will move her to 26 under par. Well, here we are now at arguably the greatest finishing hole in golf. 536 yard par five. Pacific Ocean, massive fairway bunkers stretching more than 100 yards on the left, and cypress trees, just a few of the things you need to contend with. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that, another good drive here. It is one thing to stack cars on a sport card, but Eagles, this is an incredible performance. Well, well I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. Oh, boy, that definitely took a look. That was a perfectly weighted putt, nearly an eagle. Yes, what a finish to the round. Four consecutive birdies to wrap things up. So another look at the leaderboard, and you'll almost do a double take, Frank, our featured golfer with a commanding lead through 36 holes. So far, it's just been uh, just a clinic again. I know I use that word a lot, Rich, but it, it looks like two different, two different players, one at the top and, well, the, the chases. Different league. So, for Frank Nabilo, Nota Begay III, and Iona Steven, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour Golf.